How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at permissions. So I know this video is long overdue and I am terribly sorry. I honestly thought that I did it in the commands video. Um, once again, if you guys haven't seen that commands video, be sure to go check it out. Um, this will tie in very closely or you can just go ahead and hop back to last video and because we're going to be using this code. So once again, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub and make sure not to skip around or you guys could miss a line of code which could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin. So permissions are pretty easy. The first thing you're going to want to do though um, is sort of have a list of permissions that you're going to want or that you're going to use. For this we're just going to do uh, vanish all Oops. and vanish me hide yourself. And then so you're going to add this to your plugin plugin yeah plugin your plugin plugin.yml and you're going to add permissions, the permission, um, doesn't matter if there's uppercase or lowercase, I'm actually going to do my lowercase just because I think it'll just be a little bit easier to manage. And then, so right, so you need the permission, and um, this can be as long as you want it to be, so this could be vanish.server.i.love.all, like it could be as long as you want, you just gotta make sure you add the dots in here to separate these commands. A brief description and then if uh, who has it by default and we're gonna say that operators have this by default so first thing we want to do is so this one is for player player uh, hide so this one is hiding myself from everyone else so we want to say uh, well we're gonna need to two bits here. So we're going to say if args dot come on it's a little slow here. Args dot come on length is equal to one okay and now we can enclose all that. So if args dot length is equal to one and if args zero dot equals ignore case all or no I'm sorry uh, me we are going to run this code here um, and we're just gonna go ahead and copy this and say else if args.0 equals all player dot hide online so what we're basically doing here is we are obviously running the command we're seeing if it equals hide then we're checking if the args length is uh, equal to one um, if not um, it's not going to do anything um, that doesn't particularly matter um, always make sure to return these true and sorry if I sound a little bit uh, weird today uh, I've been very very sick uh, the past couple days so uh, I'm not really sure what I have but I know it is not pleasant um, but anyways, so then we're checking if arg0, which is the the argument right after our um, command there, we're checking to see if that's all, all or me, and then if it's me, we're going to hide myself from everybody, and if it's all, I'm going to hide everybody from me. Um, but now we want to check if we have permissions to do that, right? So we want to say if sender dot has permission and it's really as easy as this has permission vanish.me we are going to run this and we're going to say else return true uh, and then we're going to sender dots oops send message chat color dot red plus you do not have permission to run that command. Now some people actually really hate um, these um, error messages um, so you don't have to put this in 
Um, it's just good practice so that way you know if something's working or not working. And then we're going to do the same thing uh, right down here. We are going to say if sender dot has permission vanish dot all, we are going to run this code. Else, we are just going to copy that and we're going to paste it in there. So uh, let's go ahead and go on the server here. And I'm going to need to deop myself. Deop Malik. Deop sick. All right, so I decided not to worry about setting up a permissions plugin uh, just for the sake of time. Um, but instead, I just decided to make these uh, default ops. So if I'm not op, I cannot use these. So you can see here if we do slash hide all, you do not have permission to run that command. Or if we do slash hide me, you do not have permission to run that command. Now, if we go ahead and op myself, you can see that the command goes through. Um, we don't have any confirmation message, uh, which you could go ahead and add in, um, but you know I'm not going to. And so that is how you guys do permissions. Um, there are extremely more advanced ways uh, to set up permissions, and uh, once we get into our advanced series, I will go over that. Uh, fun fact, our advanced series starts on... Um, episode 31 which will basically be the advanced episodes um, but they're gonna be kind of in their own you know they'll be called advanced uh, bucket coding um, and then they'll start back at one um, I feel like we've gone through a lot of the basic stuff and you guys are all set to start learning some more advanced stuff and to start getting some more advanced stuff under you guys's tool belts so that's all I got for you guys today in this video thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe